All right, well, that's good to know. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Roddick's Lap Attack. I am seeing for the very first time that we have three new cars. I don't know about the van, but I am definitely excited to try out the GTR and the Mitsubishi. First, we're going to be driving a French car. That is, as you can probably see on the top of the screen there, the Citroen DS21. I was testing this car a couple of weeks ago. I think I have all the upgrades necessary for the run. Let's double check before we proceed. Everything looks good. Yep. Everything I bought is where it needs to be. During the test, geez, please forgive me. I just had the burp. It's probably because of this uh, Cherry 7-Up I'm drinking, but well worth it. Very good drink. Anyways, when I was testing this car a couple of weeks ago, I actually was driving on this track. I didn't do a whole lap, but I did get it to go its fastest, which was around 207 miles an hour. I'm sure a lot of people, I'm sure a lot of you people will be very happy to see this car as I drive it around the circle. Oh, and I got a system software update. We can install that after this. All right. Well, I highly doubt this is going to beat any of the cars in the top five. One Dodge Challenger and four Corvettes. But if we're lucky, maybe we can get a spot. Let's see here. Go back to the board. Scroll down, will you? Okay, I forgot. I have to do this. My guess is we'll probably get somewhere between 10th, which is 512, and 17th, which is 546. So you know what? I think the Super B had a similar top speed. So we might get around 17th here. Probably 18th or 19th, but uh, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? I remember this car being in Mafia 2. I think they called it the uh, Shafiq XT. Well, I know they also gave the company a uh, different name that started with a C. They, they couldn't call it a Citroen, of course, because you know how open world games are, with the exception of the crew, of course. Like Mafia 2 or Grand Theft Auto, they always got to have uh, some creativity here with the cars and create their own brands. And this is actually the only French car in the game, too. Mafia 2 did have a few other European cars. Like, they had a car based off of the Austin Healey, which they called the Ascot Bailey. Uh, the BMW 507 was also in there. They called it the ISW 508. I guess they wanted to change it to Israel or something. I don't, I don't know what the W stands for. It probably works. I probably stands for Israel, and S probably stands for special. I think there might have been a few others. But that's all that comes to my mind for now. Because you got to remember, we didn't have many European cars in the United States during the 1950s. It, it did become more of a common thing in the 60s, though, especially with Volkswagen and their cars. And then uh, Japanese companies later entered the picture also in the 60s. I think they started around 67. I was watching a Disney movie from 1969 on Disney Plus called The Computer Wore Tennis Shoes, and one of the characters was driving around in one of those uh, little Toyota sports cars, which I thought was pretty cool. As for Citroen itself, it did have numerous cars that were sent to the United States. This was one of them, and many other sedans very similar to this. But for some reason, they stopped after 1979, or I think sometime in the 80s. While Citroen no longer has any cars sent to the United States, you can still see many of these cars. 
while they are classics and not as common as the newer cars that we see here and there, like Toyota, Mazda, or basically any American car that comes to mind, Citroen uh, still has many cars. In fact, I saw one of these in Frenchtown like two years ago. Kind of appropriate, and believe it or not, that is a real place just three miles away from where I live. Frenchtown is a very nice community. Everyone gets along really well. Okay, so I guess I screwed up. I thought the top speed on this thing would have been faster. Just goes to show that sometimes you can't always remember everything that happens like two weeks ago or something that happened longer. The way some people's memories work can be a little amusing sometimes. Like, I've seen some people that have a very easy time remembering something that happened five years ago, yet they have a very difficult time remembering something that happened five minutes ago. And I'm sure some of you watching this know many other people with that problem. I'll admit that's happened to me on a few occasions, but my memory is usually pretty good. All right, we passed the wind turbines. There are still a few on the left that will pass eventually, but now we're on the back stretch. We also have a lot of airplanes on our right too. Now, now I want to see if Gran Turismo has like a, an action sequence where you drive cars on like a made up racetrack and you have to avoid getting hit by those planes. I think that would be pretty cool, especially when you remember the Gran Turismo movie that came out a year ago. They actually did have a police chase sequence. That also makes sense because I, I, I highly guarantee that they probably got inspiration from the uh, cop servers that have been going on since Gran Turismo 5. One of my favorite servers in these games, actually. They ruined it, though, because you can't use voice chat to communicate with other players. You're relegated to only texting. And it takes, like, three minutes just to tell a driver that they got a speeding ticket, which gives them an opportunity to drive away, and you got to chase them again. Not good. They got to bring voice chat back. On the other hand, I can kind of see why they got rid of it, because, you know, it is an E-rated game. And you don't want people going online hearing people say bad words. But, you know, there are also ways to counter that, like Roblox, for instance. They allow people to have voice chat. And if anyone says any bad words on there, their voice chat privileges get removed instantly. Which reminds me, I gotta do another Roblox video. I'll tell you what though, I'm really glad the PS5 is still working, because in my previous video that I did, I, um, I did an explanation on certain content that would be coming up, and I did mention that I had some water leaking from my mom's bedroom through the ceiling here in the basement. Most of the water went on the PS3 and PS2, but there was also some that got on the PS5 as well. It's a good thing it wasn't much though, because this thing is still running perfectly, and I'm really happy. I've got a few other PS5 videos I wanna get up on YouTube soon, like uh, episode two of Train Sim World 4. I'm aware Train Sim World 5's been out for a month now, but I still have a lot of content I recorded for Train Sim World 4, so keep your eyes out for that. And then there's also some more Motorfest episodes. That's long overdue. I've been meaning to get some of those, some of those out sooner. But I guess uh, that's a problem sometimes when you have uh, Creator's Block. But I'm sure a lot of you know about Writer's Block, which is usually something that happens if you have trouble writing something. But it can happen too if you're trying to make a, a video or any other form of content. I just wish things could be like the way it was five years ago, because I 
I had a very, very easier time getting content out here and there. Why it's so hard for me to do it now, I don't know. But at least we ended this episode here on a not so high note, but we got a time of seven minutes and six seconds. Like I said, I could have sworn the top speed on this Citroen was faster, but for what it's worth, I'd say it could be worse. Let's see where we ended up. And we're not even on 20 if the slowest time here is still being held by the Firebird. Unless, I'm sure you already know about this by now, as you may see me changing the uh, performance points status here. There's the bus we tested out in one of the previous episodes. And, uh, let's see, we are, we should be here. Oh yeah, we got 10th. 7 minutes and 6 seconds. The only car slower than us at this point is the Mazda Demio Laughing Face. A hatchback that is uh, a lot newer, needless to say. But you know, for what it's worth, in the uh, PP600, this class, I'd say uh, things could have been a lot worse. Alright, that's it for this episode. You fellas take care, and thank you for joining me. Hope to see you again next time.